and Presidents Barack Obama and Vladimir Putin met on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly on Monday, with Syria at the center of their concerns. The Russian leader showed his determination to support Syria, while his U.S. counterpart expressed contradictory opinions, sometimes coinciding with the Russian position and sometimes against it. All this while the conflict inside Syria continues unabated. Here is Hazem Abdullah with more. The Syrian crisis dominated the activities of the world leaders at the United Nations headquarters in New York. The most permanent was a meeting between Presidents Obama and Putin. It felt a bite like a cold war, but in another form. No definitive conclusions about the Syrian crisis came out of their talks, but it certainly pointed the way to what might happen in the coming weeks or months, according to many observers. The United States has tried to control the region, but as unilateral policy is collapsing, Russia has emerged as a counterweight, and Russia understands how serious Western support for the terrorists has been. Sometimes this has been disguised as support for moderates or as an attempt to bring down the government. But this terror will strike the whole world and not just Syria. The fact is, the world is changing today and several poles are emerging. The changes may not be rapid on the ground, but the results will appear soon. The French have taken their own initiative, with the President Francis Hollande refloating the idea of Abba Zoon, or safe zone as they call it as a solution to the refugee crisis. At the same time, a French parliamentary delegation has been in Damascus to meet the government and visit several other Syrian cities. They are raising this in case there is an attack on Syrian territory, and it's unacceptable. The French and others are starting to feel the crisis is nearing its end, and they are trying to play the last card that may serve their interests but their card table will soon be overturned and we will see a solution to the crisis, especially with the support of friends around the world. On the ground, the extremist seems undaunted by all these. The terror organization of Islam Army published a video that shows its fighters training and carrying out exercises in large numbers. Hazm Abdullah, Tibisur, Syria.